Hi, I'm Christy Fincher and welcome to my video on glue basting. I'm going to show how I glue base seams today. And when I glue base, I use washable Elmer School glue and this fine uh, tip for the glue bottle. The fine tip is available on my website, purpledaisiesllc.com, and they come in packages of two. But it fits right on top of this Elmer's washable school glue bottle. I'll show you. You can take the topper that comes with the Elmer's washable school glue bottle. I uh, just take it off, toss it, put it away for safekeeping or um, whatever you prefer. And then the tip that you can get um, on my site or my mom's website, SharonShamber.com, just fits right on top of it. And then when it comes out, you can see that it creates a nice fine line of glue that you can control and decide uh, where it needs to go without the gloppiness of the tip that comes standard on the glue bottle. So what I'm going to demonstrate today is using glue basting to put together um, a quilt, um, different sections of it. This is part of uh, the Ascend quilt pattern that I'm working on for my son. Um, I'm also going to demonstrate using some half square triangles so you can see how the glue basting can really help um, improve your technique for matching points and nesting seams. Uh, it really can make a big difference in what you're doing already to help your technique become better. I am a big believer in that good technique matters, um, but you don't have to change the what you're doing as far as style is concerned. But having something simple and easy that can improve the look of what you're already working on can make a huge difference in, in the finished product, in how you feel about the work you're doing, and really show how, um, how much more is possible with a simple technique. So to get started, um, I'm going to put these two pieces together here. And yes, typically I could just run them right under my machine. I wouldn't even need to pin them. But just in case I want to prevent any shifting, um, I'm going to glue baste it. So all I do is run a fine line of glue and you can see that I'm running the glue in a line um, very close to the edge of the fabric. I'm going to make sure it's a, it's a complete line. It's on the inside of my seam allowance. I'm going to take my other piece and match my raw edges right sides together and heat set. Heat setting is key here. We don't want to walk away and just let it dry. Heat setting is going to um, adhere the starches of the glue together and it's going to um, prevent any gumminess that we might be worried about as, um, when we're sewing. There's going to be no gumminess here. It's not going to hurt your machine in any way to sew that glue base the seam. And you can see it's very secure. I could even leave it and come back to it if I'd like. Um, and just to um, help me be a little faster, because I know a lot of us like to um, like to do assembly line piecing, I'm going to glue my next ones together before I even start sewing. So those two go together, and then these two go together, and then I can just zip right through these guys. It's going to take no time at all to sew them together. I don't have to worry about any pins, no sewing over pins, no pulling them out. Um, none of those issues are even something to worry about with uh, the glue basting technique. Let me glue these guys together. And I have my little pressing board set up here next to my machine for video purposes. I don't want you to um, be confused that I might um, have to keep it this way all the time for when I'm sewing. I don't, the board isn't going to be in my way, but it's nice for the video for you all to see what I'm doing. See a nice fine line. Nice and quick, and they're ready to go. Okay, and then I can do my piecing, make sure I have the right side to put under my machine, and I do. I'm going to sew a scant quarter inch. Um, 
if you haven't already learned about sewing a scant quarter inch, it's um, quite important when you are sewing to um, piece parts of blocks together and then actual blocks together, just to make sure that we are um, end up with actual size blocks. If we sew the exact quarter inch, when you um, when you open up the pieces to create the block, it's um, there's going to be that space between the block that's going to make it that seam actually look larger than a quarter inch. So the scant quarter inch is, is quite important. I'm going to back stitch here just, just to be secure. I don't always do that, but there I wanted to. And then I'm just going to zip right through the rest of them. And even the ones that already have the other parts glued to it, I'm just going to keep on going. See, nice, fast, and easy. No things to worry about. Everything is nice and secure. This one is done. Let's come and work on this one up here. It's nice to be able to prep a whole lot at one time as well and get all of those parts um, glued together before I even piece, um, begin to sew them. See, otherwise this would normally not even be put together yet. And it's ready to go. Now I'll show you how I glue based the sections together. I'm going to press my seams to the side. One of them is going to go one direction and the other is going to go the opposite so that my seams can nest. I do not prefer to press my seams open. Um, pressing your seams open can um, break down the strength of your seam. When you press the seam to the side, the seam is now relying on the strength of the fabric for its durability. And when you press a seam open, it's relying on the strength of the thread. Um, so having your press, seam pressed to the side is going to make for a much stronger seam over time. And with quilting, with quilting, um, if our seams are pressed open and we quilt it, especially if we quilt heavily, it will create a draw and that draw can cause for um, seams to pop inside of your, um, your quilt. So these two actually go together, so I am going to glue base here, just draw a line where these two are going to go, and since these are pressed the opposite directions, they're going to nest really nicely, and that glue basting is going to keep everything really consistent and stable. So now I can heat set it. And the best thing about this is now there's no shifting. When I take it under the machine and I sew this part right here, that is going to stay together and it theoretically, we'll check it after I'm done, it will stay matching and it will, um, it will look perfect. And it was easy. Let's open that up and see if, in fact, it did stay matched. Oh, that looks pretty good. So the glue basting helped made that happen. I didn't have to pin it, and it turned out just perfect. Then when I press my seams to the side, then I'm ready to attach the, the next strip, and then they'll just keep matching up. Just like that. 
And I'd like to show you real quick um, some half square triangles. So you can do the same technique with half square triangles and get multiple points to match up. So let's um, do a little something here. We'll glue base those together. And I'll make sure when I am um, pressing those together that those look pretty good. So we'll heat set that. And let's get another two. We'll, we'll, I'm going to do a little opposite thing over just for fun. So we'll heat set those. And then we'll sew these little guys together real quick. Fine with half square triangles, and maybe you have two that shifting almost always occurs. And I, I am very confident that the glue basting really prevents that from happening and keeps my points very accurate. Probably 99 times out of 100, maybe 95, but it really helps a lot. And the glue, since it's washable Elmer School glue, it does wash out. It's starch-based. It is water-soluble. Um, and as soon as you launder, put your quilt in the wash, dry clean it, what have you, that glue will come right out. Even if you give it or just steam it really um, heavily, it will also come out. So let's go ahead and press our seams to the side. I'm going to do them opposite so that they will nest. So that one can go that way. This one will go the opposite way. And then when I match these guys up, I'm going to show you how we can get multiple points matching up there. I'm going to glue base here. Nice fine line. We don't need much. This is the point right here where so many points don't end up matching. So we're going to nest it nice and good before we heat set it make sure that really matches up with your fingers you can usually feel right when those bump up together so as soon as you have that feeling and you're confident that that they're right where they're supposed to be go ahead and heat set and you don't have to pin you don't have to try and match that point with a pin and sometimes when you do that, that will even cause things to mismatch. I'm going to actually add just a touch of glue right here because I didn't get enough. And heat set it again. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. pretty good. What do y'all think? And that was just from glue basting. No magic tricks. Nothing fancy. Just the glue basting. I'm going to go ahead and press this down. Give it a nice press here. And then we have our nice matched up points on our half square triangles. I hope
hope you enjoyed this video and can find a place for glue basting in your sewing and quilting. It really can make a huge difference in the results you achieve, making it easier, more accurate, and really give yourself a, um, another great technique to have in your back pocket for um, matching up your scenes and really getting, um, getting a, a better and more accurate look to what you're already working on. Please, if you have questions, feel free to leave a comment um, in the below the video. As well, feel free to visit my website, purpledaisiesllc.com, and my blog, so, S-E-W, much like mom. So much like mom. Thanks so much. I will be back again soon with another video. Bye-bye.